Understanding indifference. Navigate your emotions. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're diving into a phrase that might seem simple but carries a lot of depth. Be indifferent to it. Understanding this phrase can help you navigate conversations and emotions more effectively. So, let's get started and unravel the layers behind these words. Indifference refers to a state of neutrality or lack of interest and concern towards something. When someone says they are indifferent to something, it means that thing does not spark any strong emotions or interest in them. They are essentially unmoved and unaffected by it, whether positively or negatively. This concept is crucial in understanding human emotions and reactions in various situations. When you're advised to be indifferent to it, the speaker is suggesting that you should not let the situation affect you emotionally. This could be applied to criticism, praise, or any situation that might otherwise evoke a strong emotional response. The phrase encourages maintaining a balanced and calm demeanor, regardless of external influences. Understanding and practicing indifference has its place in effective communication. It allows you to listen and respond without bias, maintaining objectivity. In negotiations or debates, for example, being indifferent can help you focus on facts rather than getting swayed by emotions. It's about finding that balance between not caring too little and not caring too much. Being indifferent doesn't mean you should be apathetic or disinterested in everything. It's about knowing when to detach emotionally to protect your well-being or to make unbiased decisions. Strategies to cultivate indifference include practicing mindfulness, setting emotional boundaries, and focusing on what you can control. However, it's also important to recognize situations where indifference is not appropriate, such as in personal relationships or when empathy and compassion are needed. We hope this exploration into be indifferent to it has provided you with valuable insights into managing your emotions and reactions. Remember, the goal is not to suppress your feelings but to understand when and how to let them not control your actions. Stay tuned for more tips and insights into the English language and its nuances. Until next time, keep learning and growing.